Trader. Now the pits close here at 2.30. That was about 15 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy selling the stock on ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil daily and weekly chart. Now the API number uh, yesterday came out at 2.30. It was very, very bearish. Uh, there was big build across the board. Now today at 10.30, the EIA number came out and again, it confirmed it. Very, very bearish. It was built across the board. Now, if you look at the at the end of this video, all the support and resistance levels are posted and that EIA report is posted right above it exactly on uh, uh, what the crew did, what the distillates did, what the gasoline did and what Cushing did is all right there for you. Okay, let's take a look here at the old charts. Now, what we have today is we had a green candle. Now, yesterday's low was uh, 7248, and today we put a low in here of uh, 7282. So, nice higher low. Yesterday's high, we had uh, 7248, and then what do we have here today? 7282. So, a nice higher high. So, this could be looking here pretty good. We are getting to like an older uh, sold condition here. You can see that on the uh, uh, MACD, and you can see it here on the uh, uh, RSI here. So, you know, don't get too complacent on, you know, where this is going to be selling off more or whatever like this. Sometimes the selling can get done, okay? Now, even though you had bearish reports, always remember one simple thing, okay? When the EIA report comes out or the API or any kind of news on any stock, it's not the news that matters. It's the reaction to it. That does. That's all that matters. So if you have a bearish report and all of a sudden crude starts going green, see it? That's the reaction to it. So always watch the news. Don't get me wrong. But see, this is why I always trade the charts versus looking at fundamentals and all this. Because a lot of times it just doesn't matter because if a trader say, hey, I see this, I see that, or whatever like this, boom, it's that reaction that matters. Let's look at the downside here first. Okay, so we'll look on a weekly, make it real nice and easy. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to watch our weekly here low so far of 72.48. Now, again, if that's lost, we just follow this candle right here. Okay, your next line is 71.41. Okay, next support is going to be 70.50. Right here, you have 70.13. Then you have 69.28. We'll come to the bottom of this candle here. You're looking at 68.80. And then here's what you'll be looking for is this 67.71 retest. So it's all right there. Look on a weekly chart. If that's lost, we just follow these candles all the way down. Those are going to be your key support levels here. Now, we got to see here like on the upside. Well, what we're looking for since we put that higher high in, you're looking for 72.82. Uh, that's going to be very, very key uh, level here that you're going to be uh, uh, looking for. I mean, 74.22. I'm sorry about that. Uh, 72.82 was the low. So you're looking at 74.22. That was the high. Then we're going to be looking right over here, okay? You're looking at 75.52. That's going to be your next target. And then right above that, you have the 76.15. And then we have your 8 simple moving average at 76.68. And your 21 day here at 77.90. Now, when the futures open here at 6 p.m. tonight, this 8 estimate is going to be lower. The 21 day will be uh, a lower here. Okay, so always remember that. Okay, so I just say look at the 8 estimate right now. It shows 76.68. It'll be lower, but just watch that. That's going to be big time resistance, and then right above it, you have your 21 day. Okay, so and this right here is going to be very very key by Friday. That's the key by Friday, 75.96, okay? You really want to get back above it, just like we had here on all the rest of these candles. If you can, that would show a pretty good uh, uh, bullish bias here if we get it back above it, and then we could go maybe even possibly higher here, okay? So right now, what you got yourself is just like a relief rally here. You don't really have that bottoming candle here that we're looking for, like there, like there. So bottom line, just watch that 72.48 that's going to be very, very critical. If that's lost, I say just come right down to the candle. You have 71.79, and then what you're looking for is 71.41. So just follow these candles all the way down. That's going to be your support if, big if, okay, that 72.48 is lost. Upside, just watch today's high, 74.22. Then we can come right over here. You have your uh, uh, 75.50. Uh, uh, 
uh, what do we have here? Uh, right here. You're looking at 75.52, uh, and then we look here to this 200-day at 75.96, and then we can look right there at that 76.15, and then we have your 8, your 21-day, and we just follow all those simple moving averages moving up here. However, if this keeps on rolling up here, this 8-day is going to be very, very strong resistance, just like it was on all the rest of this here, and then if you can get above it, you have your 21 day. But remember, that's going to be a selling opportunity when you get into that area. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your one minute and your five minute charts. These are really good trading charts. Okay, now you can see here, see this low, higher low, higher low, and then higher low came right on down here. But overall, look at there, higher low, higher low, boom. Okay, so I scalped the UNG actually uh, twice today. You had a really good range in there, 1815, then it got all the way up to 1888, then it pulled back, and now she's all the way up there. It got as high as uh, uh, 1909. So this was really good trading here in the natural gas today, okay? So when you look at um, all this here, look at, say, on a one-minute chart here, okay? So you can see how clear as a bell that this is with them higher highs. And once we get above that eight day, she just falls right up. And then if it comes down, you watch that 21 day and then she can roll right on higher here. So, okay. So natural gas, really good trader right now. I have no position. I am flat. Um, I usually go flat on natural gas because you just never know here. You can always give you an opportunity to get in and get out. That's what the beauty is, is of natural gas. So let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, we'll take a look here at this weekly chart. Now, what we have here is this This is basically three weeks. So to this week here so far was 2.82. Last week we had a high at 2.848, and then we had that 2.92, okay? So right now we got a series of uh, lower highs. And of course that could change if we start busting above all that, okay? But the key to the, on the weekly here by Friday is you wanna hold this 2.8. Uh, let's just call that 2.50, okay? So that is going to be very, very key on a weekly. If we can hold that, that gives us 8 SMA here, a good chance to move right on up here. You can see where it has the bullish cross over the 21 day, and she's rolling right up. You cross that 50 day, and we could send this all the way up here, even possibly to that 3.189 level here. Very easy. RSI, plenty of room to run on up here. Your MACD, your green over your red, always very, very bullish. Now, we look at the RSI here. We're just going nice sideways action here. Hold the rate up uh, just below that 70 mark. Very, very nice. Now, your green is below your red here, but we got a good sideways action, and that's basically what we're looking for. So we have a good, good trading range. Now, today when we came in here, it got as low all the way down here, you know, to that 8 SMA here, and then you put in a low all the way down here of uh, 2.60. But again, it went right back up of, of that eight simple moving average and then just moving up very, very nice here. So on the downside, just let's just take that first here, okay? So right now you're sitting at 2.779, very, very nice. So on the downside, you want to watch that 2.70. We want to watch right here, that 2.68. And then we want to look here. This is that um, uh, 2.57, which lines up right in nice with that candle. If that's lost, you come right here to the 21-day. Then we have your 50-day, then you have your 200-day simple moving average. That's all the support levels. The key, key, key is this eight simple moving. As long as you're above that, you can have a nice, good sideways action. Now, upside, okay? So we have 2.78. Well, the next level, obviously, is going to be right there. That's at 2.79 uh, level. So you're just below that. If we can get above that, we can come here to that 2.82. And then we're looking right here, we're looking at that 2.85 level, and then there's your big retest at 2.92. But this is looking very, this is such a tradable, just a beautiful trades here every day here, in and out, in and out, in and out. Now, again, I don't hold the natural gas overnight because it's just too, there's just other stuff on here that is, is better. Now, crude oil I'll hold overnight here. Not today, of course, because, well, we got to see here today. I'm still... Uh, uh, was long. I don't know if I'll take a position here uh, again in the UCO. I just like trading it here until like oil, if you can get above that 8 SMA, we can start rolling up like we had this area here. Then yes, I will take it even like natural gas uh, overnight situation, but mainly it'll be a small position and then I'll just trade it all the way on up here. Okay, so I usually trade uh, uh, 5,000 shares of UNG 
And that always works out really good. And then get in, get out of the trade, see what happens the very next day. Because just like today, okay, it was higher and then it came down and gave you an opportunity to get back in. As long as you can hold that eight day, then you can take a long position. So again, what you really want to do here on the downside, just watch that level, 2.70, watch right there, 2.68, and then watch this, 2.63. Very, very key. And then yesterday's low was that loss, 5.7. And then your 21-day, obviously your 50-day, and then your 200-day. Upside here, just watch right there. That's what we're looking for, that 2.79 level, and then 2.85, and then right there, your breakout at 2.92. You bust above that, you're going to 2.96. And then 3.01, that is your upside target here. So right now, natural gas, I just trade it daily. It gives you a good opportunity to get in, gives you an opportunity to get out. Now, again, when natural gas a lot of times comes down in pre-market, that's usually the buying opportunity. And then it seems like it wants to run up into the market, okay, in, while the market is open. So that's what it's been doing here. So we got to see if this trend is still your friend, as they say, okay? So, uh, again, just be trade it, okay? Don't have no opinion. That's the key. And then we'll see if we can reach and retest that 2.92. If you can, then we can possibly get a breakout and shoot her all the way up to that uh, three level. Downside, watch that 8 SMA. Very, very crucial. If it's lost on a closing basis, that's it, closing basis, then we have we know exactly where your support levels are. Okay, that's what I got for you, crude and natty gas. I'll be back here tomorrow morning before 8 o'clock, and we will do it all over again. Thanks for watching.